Well, hello there, YouTube, and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we've got another live one. I'm pretty ill prepared, as usual, and uh, there is a reason for that. Well, there's a few reasons for it, um, as well as looking like utter crap. Um, so hopefully, um, you can hear me, and this microphone is working. You can see boom arms and stuff. Just the, the office is, or the studio rather, is just a just a nightmare at the moment it's so much of a mess it's ridiculous but let me just pop some batteries in this mod that uh, that uh, we'll have a little chat about later on um how are we all everyone all right everyone happy yes <laughs> right let me make sure in chat that uh, the video is working that's always good to know before i start talking to nothingness <laughs> <laughs> just because i would i'd sit here for the next hour just talking away and then it would turn up that uh i'd go to make sure it went live and there would be nothing absolutely fuck all <laughs> oh dear happy new haircut big chat hope you well mate so i'm imagining i am live right just popping these batteries in and then i will say hello to a bunch of you fine people I have noticed that if I start um, if I start getting into the meat of the vlog too early, then uh, some people kind of miss stuff because they kind of come in after ten minutes and then ask stuff that I covered in the first in the first ten minutes. Do you know what I mean? So uh, we're we're going to give it a, a few minutes before we uh, before we kick off. Um, look at that! Look, Daniel's in the house. Hello, Daniel. Nice to see you. Are you are you in the UK yet, Daniel? Are you over here or are you still over in Portugal and coming back over here tomorrow? tell me let me know um right are we okay volume wise nothing distorting and all that sort of stuff i hope so let me know uh right let's have a little scroll through and see who's there samuel gray hello fellow vapor hello samuel nice to see you um matt christie hi there hello uh richard Pryor. good evening is that the real richard Pryor? i imagine that might be a bit funky by now um marlesco soon goes dean yes i know that time thing yeah it was literally it was like 8 30 and i was writing up some of my vlog notes and i was doing bits and pieces and then uh, and then suddenly it was it was it was nine o'clock now you see i i'm i'm watching on my uh checking my live stream situation going on on the uh <laughs> yeah yeah oh life control room that'd be the puppy won't it there we go health is good we're all we're all gravy that's good that's good we have details and stuff ish <laughs> anyway right i did this last time didn't i and i just got far too involved in, in bits and pieces so um let's let's crack on with this one shall we um what else have we got going on so welcome i was saying hello to people see see i'm going to tell you why I'm, I'm very broken in a little while what have we got going on then so lewis carlin carlin um you made it in time you did indeed heck sam always fun live vlog thank you very much sam um or church or church it just says dean so or church um rika ruiz hello hello to you as well heck sam hello again lewis carlton rika ruiz mark mark haynes all right dean all right mark um daniel obviously join the club minds and messages like, yeah daniel but no uh, on the show that we did of yours at the weekend, you showed your desk being a mess. And essentially, there was just a lot of stuff on your desk. But it looked like an organized mess. You know what I mean? If you haven't seen it, by the way, go and check out Daniel, DJ LSB uh, Vapes' channel, because we did a fantastic live show on uh, on Saturday night in the UK. Um, and there was myself, Battery Mooch, uh, and Phil Basado, and obviously Daniel. And it was such a good time. We all had an absolute blast. And I don't think any of us really fancied it finishing. We just had a really good time. So I think that came through on the uh, on the show itself. So if you've not seen it, go and check that out. That's kind of great fun. And you get to see Mr. Basado sort of start, start to have one of them pulsating veins in the top of his head as he goes off on a rant. That's quite funny. Um uh steph skiffington happy new haircut big champ hope you're well mate yes thank you very much had the hair done today this is my this is my selfie hair so i look slightly less like a tramp when i uh, when i have selfies with people over the weekend um let me i'm gonna have to scroll a little bit now just to try and keep up um I don't know if Daniel has met Daniel. If you've mentioned that you're in the UK yet or not, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Speed Freak, uh, Vapor Market, great show with Daniel. There we go. You see, we we're just talking about. Should I put my phone on silent? Should we do that? Let's do that just for shits and giggles, shall we? Let's do that. There we go, silent. Now then, 
okay are we uh are we are we going we're five minutes in should we get things sorted out should we get things sorted out let's have a little sip of tea first um great lots of people everyone's in here i think well there's a bunch of people in here i don't know how many people are watching but um my my figures are all kind of all wobbly i don't really know what's going on i don't really know what's happening but i think we're streaming live apparently it's streaming at 720p so if you're trying to watch it anything higher than that tough titties right then shall we get started oh daniel's not no not yet he's flying in a few hours right Good to see you. Well, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Oh, we've had a bunch more people come in. Look, um, La Laurentio Nic Nicolai. Is that how you, have I fucked that up? I might have done that very bad. I do apologize, but you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Grant Hampson, hello from South Africa. Nice to see you, South Africa. Thank you very much, Grant. Um, what have we got here? What have we got? Who else? Eddie Summerford's in. Nice to see you, Eddie. Nice to see you, fella. Um, Laura Asung Asungkao Asungkao Asung Asungka Asungka. I don't know how to say that. Laura, hey there, hey. Uh, um, Juice from Jen, DJ L, hey hey. Yeah. Say hello to Daniel. Daniel does such a good thing for the community. Absolutely. Um, request do a show with Big Lou. Yeah, I'd be up for that. I'd be up for that. No worries at all. Um, right. There's there's stuff happening. There's stuff happening. There's a bunch of you in there, right? Shall we uh, shall we uh, get involved? Shall we get involved? And I'll start telling you what we do now. As as usual, I'm going to do the the vlog portion of this video up front, and then if I, if I see any questions that are related to what I'm talking about, then I will try and answer them. Now, bearing in mind that there is a little bit of a delay from what I say to when you hear it, so I'm not entirely sure how many seconds that is, but there is a little bit of a delay. But if I see a question pertaining to what I'm talking about, then uh, um, I will absolutely do my best to answer it. Please use at vape and biker at the start of your uh, of the start of your question if it's one of those things, and that'll help highlight what's going on uh, on the chat. I think I do have super chat going as well, so if anyone does want to contribute to the channel, they certainly can do, and you know, donate a couple of bucks or whatever um, uh, to highlight a comment. I don't really understand it to be honest with you, but apparently it's a thing, so you know, you may as well. <laughs> you can if you want to, but uh, but there you go. So yes, we're going to do that, and then uh, after that, we're not. This isn't going to drag on for hours and hours and hours. So after that, what we'll do is we will uh, we'll kind of have a little bit, bit of a chat with you guys, and then we'll uh, we'll shoot off. Is that all right with everybody? I hope that's okay. Now then. Um, why I look like shit and why uh, I'm doing a live vlog, even though last week I said I probably wouldn't do any more live vlogs on YouTube and I'll be doing them over on my Twitch channel. Uh, that's just because um, essentially last night, Dizzy, that our little Spaniel, was uh, was very unwell. And so I've literally been up with her all night. I didn't sleep a wink of sleep last night. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of I've managed to get a couple of hours this afternoon but uh, obviously I went out and got my uh, I got my hair cut done and all that sort of malarkey but um yeah generally I've been looking after the doggy so very very tired very very big bags under the eyes looking and feeling fairly crappy so I may be a little bit more vacant than usual when I'm trying to explain things Oh, I tell you, I am slowly losing my mind. So that's why that's happening. Um, I've already gone through what's happening in the vlog. Now then, um, I see a few people in the chat already asking me questions. Once again, um, if you've got generic stuff, then if you can leave it until after the sort of main vlog portion, then that keeps us all on track. That'd be great. Um, and uh, unless you've got a question about the thing that I'm talking about at the time. Is that cool, please? That'd be awesome if you could. That'd be great. Thank you. It just helps kind of have a little bit of a organization involved. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise I will start talking to you about some random thing, completely forget everything that I meant to put in the vlog and it'll all go wrong. So <laughs> it'll destroy the whole point of doing it. Now then, so let's crack on. Um, 
one video since the last vlog, which is inexcusable on my part. I do apologize for all of you that have been looking out for content. I'm very, very sorry. We did do the BMI Nova RDA since the last vlog. Um, I did expect, to be honest with you, to uh, um, be able to pump a load of videos out, like three or four videos over the weekend. But then on Friday, just as I was sitting down, sitting down to record Friday night's video, um, the, the whole TRPR thing and the RDA situation in the UK kind of erupted on social media and so because of that I then got super involved into that and kind of dug in as much as I could. I figured it was more important to try and um, fun, first of all get an understanding of the situation that we, were, we are at myself um, because it's only fair to you guys but secondly um, to try and get some factual information out there on that one so that was something that I did an article on vapingbiker.co.uk go ahead and check that out. I think the articles called something like have we seen the last of rdas in uk vape shops um go and check that out because it's not an opinion piece one of the things i really really wanted to stress amongst all of social media saying well i think this is happening and this is happening and you know there was a lot going on without or with a lot of opinion rather than fact and so what I wanted to do was try and pull in as much fact as I could and leave my opinion out of it for as much as I could do just to be able to hopefully clear up to some degree where we're at and that in fact on Friday when I wrote the article we didn't have any kind of clear definition of what was going on and so uh, because of that it was it was just a just a fucking mess <laughs> it's a mess it really really was so yeah so um go ahead if you've not ready go ahead and check that out and see what you think you can leave comments down below i'm very i'm very proud of myself i've managed to figure out not only how you do like three or four tier comments but you can also like posts and things on it i tell you it's the little things you learn i didn't know that i could do web design but apparently i can um uh, <laughs> ish ish <laughs> um so yeah so anyway on the friday night i was up until i think it was like 4 30 5 a.m on uh, on saturday morning getting that done because once i put the article up i was then inundated with emails and um pms and dms and whatever they are on instagram and all that sort of good stuff so it kind of it all kind of went a little bit bonkers so that was a a crazy late night which meant that saturday was a bit of a write-off Plus, I've treated myself to a little thing that I'll tell you about later on. Um, that uh, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a, of a well done, Dean, and and uh, have a little bit of chill time. Um, but then Saturday night was obviously Daniel's video, and that was another five o'clock in the morning finish. <laughs> so Sunday was a fucking nightmare. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, just things have happened. No, that doesn't. Am I even making sense? Yeah, what day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway so stuff's happened there's been oh yeah and then early part of the week um <laughs> i've got some stuff going on that i would love to be able to tell you about but i can't at the moment but over the next couple of weeks um it's going to be it's kind of regulatory ish kind of stuff um but uh but i've got nothing solid yet so once i've got some i've got some quite I, th I think it's exciting but it's uh stressful as fuck but there's some stuff happening um but which i can't tell you about right yet but i will tell you as soon as i possibly can um so yeah i've had a sort of a couple of days of organizing things along with that as well so yeah today was supposed to be the catch up on the videos day and then the dizzy thing happened last night and so <laughs> oh, i tell you best laid plans go to fucking whatever it is no ah. now then um, Nico, first time seeing you live. I would have watched this anyway, but cool to see you live. Thank you very much for joining me live, Nico. Like I keep saying, everybody, I will be hitting the um, chat after I've done the main body of the uh, of the of the vlog, um, unless I see something in the chat coming up that's pertaining to what I'm talking about in the vlog. So it's not that I'm ignoring you. But I recognise that I'm a useless fat twat, so <laughs> it means that if I if I go off kilter and I start talking about something else instead of what I've got on the vlog notes, then I I'm going to end up in hell of a mess. <laughs> so it's just yeah, <laughs> I'm generally fairly useless anyway. But then add tiredness onto that, and oh, <laughs> right. Okay, so that's going on. So yeah, I apologise for not doing any any uh, videos over the last um, or since the last vlog over the last week, but there has been sort of things going on that have sort of stopped me from doing so. Um, it's a pain in the dick, but 
you know, hopefully we can get shit back together again very, very soon indeed. Um, now then, what have we got? Um, there's a couple of things that I have been asked about and where the reviews are for them, and I wanted to tell you a little bit why they haven't had the review yet. First of all, we've got the Yeti for no, 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 we don't. The Loch Ness from Envy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of them, isn't it? So yeah, the Loch Ness mod from Envy. Now, this one, I don't know if you can see that big white bit going on there. That's a big cock up in the uh, in the in the paint where that was just kind of dropped on my desk and uh, gouged out about a bunch of paint. The reason I've not reviewed this as yet is because um, I think it's just condensation going in the seam of the top there. So I don't think that's very serious. But I'm really trying to see how this paintwork lives up because there's already a fuck ton of reviews out for this mod. Um, and so, you know, I didn't want to rush it. And because it's got that rubberized finish, I thought this was an ideal opportunity to give it a real stress testing review so i've had it for a bunch i've had this for a long time now and i certainly should have done the review by now but i am giving this a damn good test when it comes to um durability and all that sort of stuff so that's why this hasn't come out yet. It's not that I've forgotten about it, um, but that's why that hasn't come out yet. I'm still unconvinced. I mean, I know Nick thinks it's the most comfortable thing he's had in his hand, but um, I still think it's too fat that way. And surprising coming from me, to be fair. But but um, yeah, I mean, it's it's comfortable, but it's kind of not comfortable as well. Um, TC Vapes, is it a requirement to have a beard to be a reviewer? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, that's why the Loch Ness hasn't been out yet. Now then, also we've got the uh, the DNA seventy five C Therian, which um, which I, mine is still currently running the Evolve software that was that came pre installed. Now um, I believe that Lost Vape did an update on the uh, on the software, and then Daniel did an update on the software. And so essentially, what I'm doing is I want to make sure that when I review this product, um, it's got the software on it that you are going to get when you purchase or if you purchase one of these Therians. So once again, I've not rushed it purely because I don't really see the point in me showing you a pretty screen if that's not the pretty screen you're going to get. You get me? Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully you can understand the reason for that. Now, um, I will be, I think uh, I think Lost Straight might be at Expo this weekend. So if they are, I will be uh, I will be going to see them and, uh, and having a chat about this anyway. Now, on top of that, we've got the Pandora. Pandora. Um, the Pandora has caused me not problems, but um, it's not been the enjoyable vape that I've been hoping for. And due to a lot of people reckoning that it was a fantastic, I've been spending a little bit extra time on it, doing a few more, um, a few more builds and all that sort of stuff. But to be honest with you, can you hear that? Rather than having kind of the smoothness of something like the, the 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 peerless for instance just because it's in front of me that it's just it's kind of a, it, the airflow is is certainly more turbulent and i and i know they're completely different styles so i shouldn't really relate the two of them but um but yeah i mean that airflow is kind of putting me off so it's uh, you know, I, I, I should use it more than I have done. Um, I have put a ton of builds in it already, and I need to put a few more in there before I do the review. But I will be doing it very, very soon. Um, I hope to have that review out the first week back after Expo, so next week. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a challenging one. It's just, you know, it's not been one that I've been super excited about. But, you know, like I say, I want to get, especially because it's designed in the UK, um, but wrongly or rightly, I've kind of had a little bit of a soft spot for that because of that fact. So I wanted to give it just a little bit extra grief to make sure that I'm comfortable that what I tell you is, you know, as factual as I can make it. Does that make sense? So that's that then. Now then, um, I was going to talk about Expo there, but I'm going to do that at the end, just because I think that's going to be something that we can all talk about and it's going to be marvellous. So a little bit of cutting and pasting going on there. Um, updates, 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 updates. So we've got the Tesla Invader 2-3. I told you about this in the last vlog and um, I said I couldn't really see the point in it because if you're going to buy one of these, why wouldn't you go out and buy a Wismec 2-3 uh, with the board on it and all that? Sort of stuff now having said that i have used it i have been using it quite a lot um and i will continue to do so before the review i don't like the button the button is just too big so it's kind of 
at the bottom particularly is really spongy whereas at the top it's a little bit on the clickier side it's a little bit on the clickier side you know um but yeah so i the button i imagine this is just an actuator on top of an okl style board um and i'm not i'm not digging it i'm not digging it at all to be honest with you but having said that i have been using it so that's the thing i know that somebody has just asked um about uh um hang on what's going on here what's going on here is someone is someone being nubbed what's going on here oh oh look at that look oh uh, someone's being a dick face <laughs> oh that's always nice isn't it isn't it you do these kind of things and then someone's just being a break ah, that's the way forward that's the way forward stick with me guys and girls um let's have a little go huh da -da -da, da -da, da -da. why can't why can't that happen why can't that happen am i still running uh, uh, uh. and that one boom done ha <laughs> ha gone game over thank you very much for that one right so he's gone this why why would you why would you come onto a live stream just to be a knob i don't really get it so yes anyway done it done it dusted i do i really should have someone as a as a moderator when i do these things i never expected them to be that um that uh that popular to be honest with you but you know it's a thing it's happening <laughs> so anyway keep an eye out for me guys and i'll just fuck people off if they're being a knobhead thank you very much indeed and then next time when i do one i will uh i will um i will what would i do i will have a moderator oh just you know it just it beggars belief why people are just knobs doesn't it um right have we done are we done no one's being a cock at the minute splendid yes roll i'll try and keep an eye on the chat kids and guys and gals so uh, let me know if it all goes a bit wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear now then oh just people i mean it doesn't i mean you get trolls it's a thing but anyway anyway um what else is going on sorry for headphone users for just clapping at my hands in front of the microphone um the uh minikin reborn 168 watts i think it is i'm still cracking on using this one i to be honest with you already and i'll say this in the uh in the in the how's your father in the um review but given the choice of this with the Minikin V2 or this with the, the uh, V1.5 Reborn, I would go for the V2 just because of form factor. I think this is absolutely spot on. However, if you like this kind of form factor, very, very similar boards. So, you know, they do a very, very similar thing. I just prefer this little one, to be honest with you. But I will be getting the review out for that shortly. But I've been using it quite a lot. Now then, very important, I, I, very important thing. Um... I guess uh, this is a tough one. Okay, so I pointed out about, or I said about the trot, no, no, the Serpent BF. Um, so little 22 mil Serpent BF RDA that Watofo sent on um, t'other week. And do you know what? I am a little bit upset. A little bit upset and that's because the 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 bung that you put in the deck to use as a uh, as a as a single coil apart from being upset because i can't get the damn fucking top cap off um the bung that you put in the deck at the top there um to make it single coil is it turns out it's a silicon now, when I'm pressed on, or when I've pressed to find out what type of silicon it is, if it's safe and all that sort of malarkey, um, basically I get, yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it, and, um, you know, don't dry burn your coils with that in there. So, you know, part of me goes, well, if it's, if it's, if it's safe, then why does, why is that a problem? I don't know. I don't really get it. So, yeah, I mean, when I do the review, I'm going to just flat out say I would not use this in single coil mode with that bung in it. It's just, to me, it's a dual coil um, 22 mil RDA, which is not a bad little performer if you can cope with a very, very silly top cap. Um, if you can deal with that, then you're laughing. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, 
Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> right, so oh, I haven't showered since I had my haircut, so I'm still a bit itchy as well. <laughs> now then, so yeah, so that's my little thing about that. I will be doing the BF um, Serpent uh, Sharpish purely because I've used it a bit and it's okay. I just need to pop a couple more, a um, couple more builds in there, and then we'll uh, we'll get that done. So that brings us then on to it's only 25 minutes in. Look, we're we're corking on through, corking. Super Chat is just if you want to contribute to the channel, you can donate something and it highlights your comment to me and all that sort of stuff. I know someone had asked what uh, what that was. I, 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 I've never actually used it, to be honest with you, but apparently it's a thing. So, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, YouTube's ad revenue is a bag of shite now, so <laughs> give it a go. Now then, let's, 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 let's get my windows reorganized, shall we? Should we do that? Shall we do that? <laughs> Oh, sorry for the dead air, you crazy gang. Now then, new in. So let's have a, just a quick catch. I haven't vaped. Let's have a vape. Let's have a vape. Right. Once again, after that section. If you're reasonably fresh into this particular stream, I'm just going through the vlog notes and vlog stuff first. And unless I see your question pop up that's pertaining to whatever I'm talking about at the time, um, then I'm going to carry on doing that one until um, we get to the end of the vlog, in which case I will do sort of a, a try and get a quick conversation going with you guys. And uh, I mean, I can't imagine there's many of you that still want to ask me questions. But if there are, then uh, we'll give that a go. Um, so anyway, let's go into what's come in. So what's come in? We have from uh, Vandy Vape and Tony B from the Vapor Trail Vapor Trail channel, um, the Pulse Twenty Two. I've had a number of people ask me about this. Vandy Vape did send me uh, send me one in, and that is sitting on top of that little puppy there. It's in black, and I do wish. I mean, I, I'm not I'm okay with black RDAs, but I do wish vendors and manufacturers would stop sending one product and have it black because it looks shit under camera it's really hard to see the quality of it but anyway it's happened it's a thing stop whinging indeed um so yeah so we've got this little uh, little rda going on here and if you've not seen it um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in ca on camera there, but you've got the airflow holes that are coming in at those sides. See those two holes there? And they've got tubes that are facing down to a single coil. So I've got this obviously in squonk mode at the minute, and I'm uh, I'm fair old uh, pootling along on here, but this is the first build that I've had in it. Um, and I, even though I've raised the coil off the bed a fair amount, I don't think I've raised it up enough to enable it to really kind of benefit from the, from or to get the air remotely under it to kind of get the best flavor from it. So anyway, there we go. Now Samuel Gray at that point says, uh, "Oh dear, why? What? What have we got? What have we got?" Uh, 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 Stephen Willis, calm your tits, calm yourself down, or you're out as well. There you go. I'm just, I'm tired and slightly grumpy. <laughs> um, someone asked now, what was I saying? Who asked about the uh, Samuel Gray asked about the 22 mil? I and he doesn't see the point. Essentially, the idea of 22, I mean, it always, it's always been 22s. It's only kind of reasonably recently that 24 seems to have been the, uh, seems to have been the, 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 the kind of the norm. But uh, with the smaller chamber, with the, um, with the, the smaller insides of, uh, of the 22 mil atomizer, it's, it gives us a chance to really concentrate that flavor so rather than having a big old chamber of a big old rda for that kind of air to really circulate around or really kind of get into and fill up before it gets up into your mouth um having that smaller chamber means the air goes in and up straight away um i mean there's it, it, not much in it but it's supposed to be able to concentrate the flavor and i think that really really does help if you're looking at some of the sort of the 22 mil atomizers that uh, are really great little flavor atties they're usually really condensed 
nice little chambers. And also with a lot of the dual coils, I mean, when we look at like the 24 mil stuff that's been coming out recently, we've seen some big chunky center posts in the middle that have meant that um, it's reduced the chamber either side of those posts. So they've still got the size of the, of the 24 mil on the outside, but they've tried to reduce it on the inside to make for better flavor. So that's essentially the point. And there's also a hell of a lot of people that like using 22 mil RDAs. Um, ah, da -da -da -da, da -da -da. What bills though? I can only fit cantal in them. I can fit all sorts in. I can fit. I've fit dual coils in in uh, in a 14 mil R Desmo RDA. So um, it depends. You just get used to your bills figure out and it'll work you can do you can do all sorts i mean like i said we've always been used to doing uh 22 mil atomizers so 22 mil atomizers you can still pretty pre stick in most things it's just you use different wire to get to the, the the situation that you want it to be there you go um but i use stainless steel for most things as you guys probably know now then so we've got the uh, the pulse 22 which we will be looking at uh very very soon but i'm giving this a damn good road test i'm probably going to take it to expo with me as well um uh someone else has asked where can we buy the pulse no idea i've only just got it calm yourselves <laughs> i will let you know when i get to the um when i get to the review who's selling it in the uk and various other places there and then mr todd is in the chat um where did you get that haircut and would you recommend it <laughs> <laughs> You're a bell end. Um, I'm just following in your uh, footsteps, Mr. Todd, after your haircut the other day. I figured you couldn't upstage me at Expo, although I'm not going for the Grecian 2000 on top, although possibly with the beard I should do. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh we've got to uh we've got to do the uh the Vandy Vape Pulse 22 then coming in which I think is very very cool so look at this are there any scrape fans out there let me know if you're a Staquam scraper type of person now this is the complete scrape x dripper um, which I'm very, very excited about. This only arrived yesterday, and I've not had a chance to uh, do anything with it whatsoever. I know Mr. Todd has reviewed it already, so if you're interested, go and uh, go and check out Mr. Todd's um, review. But that's what it looks like with this kind of top del ring cap on it, but I believe you can take that off. Um, it seems to have just the ability to have a fuck ton of air, which I'm... Um, that's a lot... I mean, that's, that's a lot of fucking air. Um... But uh, yeah, I'm super excited about trying this one out. But like I say, if you're impatient, might be, might be able to uh, mouth to lung it as well. They've got little air holes on the sides. Oh, I'm very excited about trying this and getting involved with this one. But one of the cool things, oh, like I said, if you if you are if you are impatient, go and see Mr. Todd. Go and see Mr. Todd. Obviously, it won't be to the same amazing quality of my reviews, but you know, have to put up with it. He's old and he's in the shit. Um, <laughs> I love you really um but they've also sent me which is quite cool this little puppy now in here if i can pull it out if i can pull it off in here we do have this little section because one of the interesting things about this and i know i'm not i don't do tank reviews but i will show you about this in the dripper review hey okay, um is a tank section that sits on top of the dripper base which i think is a really fucking good idea generally in the past um i believe that the scrape uh, tanks have been very very good a lot of people i know really really like them um and i really like the idea that finally there's a company that's got a or potentially got a dripper slash tank combo that uh, that may work out well which i'm i'm very very excited about trying out so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have it in tank mode or dripper mode for Expo, but uh, I will be banging a build in there and um, and uh, just do the, do something. I just moved my camera. Did I? I did, didn't I? It moved by itself, motherfucker. I've got a mess. Look, see, see, see this? Yeah, that's that's shocking, isn't it? Oh, you saw <gasps> the illusion is finished. You saw you saw my the end of my fucking thing background <laughs> right anyway so yes um um so yeah uh hopefully we will uh we will crack on to this bad boy and um uh, yeah get stuck into it um but i'm very very excited because i've not tried any of the uh i've not tried any of the 
the stack farm stuff before, but I do know that a lot of people really, really rate it. So yeah, I'm super excited about trying that one. So massive thank you to Chris over there for uh, for sending me that across. Now then, what else have we got? Now it came in from Steam Island this morning. Steam Island over in there. I think the shop's called Steampunk. My camera's moving by it. Fuck tell. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Stay, stay, stay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's have, let's have, let's, let's do, let's do a little bit of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we see less nastiness in the background let's do that shall we you are a little bit closer to my ugly mug but i apologize for that anyway the shop called steampunk in the isle of Wight. um also steam island i think um there we go you can check that out with a little bit of uh of 3d filament hanging from underneath it's not one of my grey beard hairs um you can check those guys out if you want they're the people that have sent me on the theory and dna 75c but uh also this came through this morning and as you can see i've not even unwrapped it so we'll have a little unwrap of um of this one while we are chatting shall we this is the maze v3 dripper um which has got some pretty interesting airflow um i think this has kind of a um an aeronaut style type of airflow going on um so from what i've seen it's a black one it's a black one rob boy if you sent me a black one um i think it's a black one anyway let's have a little look shall we oh it's a black one that's cute look at that cute isn't it hey what right then let's uh let's uh let's do something <laughs> standard 510 in there in the bottom at the moment protruding enough to go onto a hybrid if you really really want to um we've got this going on see our day great big hole going on there and you can see all the way through it i think can you can you not can you i can't see yes i think you can yes you can because i believe if i take this uh if I take this top cap off like so, yes, yes. You see that? Now, oh dear, oh dear. This is terribly unprofessional having to do this this focus malarkey. But um, let's let's fucking do it because I'm doing a live vlog. Which side are we? There we go. You see that going on there? Now it that um, section where the air goes in the side of the build deck there, then comes out of those sort of holes in that tube which will go up to your coil and i believe you can adjust that airflow to uh come out at different kinds of angles and all that sort of good stuff so yeah this is going to be quite an interesting one it looks quite a deep juice well or an interesting in a kind of a, a not overly leaky kind of way so i'm looking forward to giving that a little bit of a play around to be honest with you it should be should be kind of interesting but how do you get what i don't understand oh, i fixed it <laughs> but uh, i will let you know about that i'll show you a build if you follow me on instagram and all that sort of good shit i might even pop a build on it because i think it's going to look cool on a mod i'm going to tell you about in a little while um so yes that's a that's an interesting little dripper uh but as we know drippers i don't know what uh, i don't know what steam island's situation on drippers is at the moment so yeah don't don't hammer me for that one at the moment we'll have to wait and see what we're going on with that one anyway uh is there anything else on that one no uh but remember a few of you if you've been watching for a little while may remember the gorge rda now the gorge rda um came with a with an ultim top cap and uh, and it looked it was a single coil thing it was kind of a little bit hadley esque when it came to the airflow and uh, various other bits and bobs um and um it was a, it was an interesting thing but it did leak a little bit so they did ask me not to review it um and they sent me a new one out now they've only sent me one of these new ones and it says stainless steel on the box but uh we'll have a little look at that so hopefully this is up ah, this one has an ultimate top cap on it as well looks very very similar to the previous one very very plain on the outside no markings or anything on the barrel of the top cap and uh yeah could be interesting nice extended 510 going on there i don't that might be the it looks as though it's got the same kind of malarkey going on with very similar to the velocity v2 with a squonk pin that goes up and then you just bung it up with a with another small allen key uh screw or grub screw uh but it does come with the ultim top cap as well so i'll probably bang that on something as well just for shits oh 
Oh, imagine if you had a white squonker and then you were vaping like custard in the bottle. The yeah, the white and then the yellow from the custard in the squonker with the yellow from an ultimate top cap. That could look quite cool, couldn't it? <laughs> right. So. <coughs> um that's about it we're nearly at the end of this section gang and then i will be paying way more attention to the chat are we okay with that let's have a little little drink it's fucking hot here is it hot where you are right oh right good so things something that i treated myself to recently that i can't show you because it's rather it's all big in here is a 3D printer. Now, I bought an Anet A8 from Gearbest. Um, I bought it when it was having the, because they do, the, the price kind of goes up and down. And I think it was about 130 quid, something along those lines. Um, I know Mr. Todd bought one at exactly the same time because we were having a good old giggle about the whole situation. And it turned up and you have to put it together yourself. It needs constant tinkering and fucking around with, which is perfectly acceptable because it's a cheap 3D printer. Um, but as it is, I've been kind of having when i've been having a little bit of downtime just to down tune away from vapey things for a little bit i've been making a few bits and bobs however a couple of vaping things that i have made is um this was a kind of a calibration sort of testing kind of thing so it's a uh, it's very very white so you can't see in fact if i turn one of these lights off is that going to help you see anything kind of yeah um so this is just a battery holder that uh, I went for kind of a stone like this was meant to be like a rock face kind of finish with the ohm symbol coming through as a sort of a solid kind of a vibe with mix going on at the bottom just because I wanted to see um, what the, what what kind of finish I could achieve with it and it's a little bit liney. I don't think you're going to be able to see on camera. It's a little bit on the liney side, but um, not bad at all. And I thought that was quite a cool little funky thing. So I made that, banged that together, designed that one, threw it together, and it works. So that's nice. Um, but then the most, the, the the thing that I'm the most proud of is what is sitting underneath the uh, the 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 Pulse 22 at the moment, and that's this little mod here, which is one that I designed and made the other night. And last night, because Dizzy kept me awake all night, um, it gave me a little bit of a chance to finish this off. I'll pop the light back on again in a moment. Now, the door, I need to reprint another door because this one isn't fitting overly well, which is why you can see the dark lines all around there. But uh, other than the design and, uh, and print, obviously, which is all me, um, I, uh, I bought all of the parts, everything. The I've got a stainless steel battery tube in there, which is a mod maker battery tube. I've got what's called a switch FET inside there, which is, uh, so it's an unregulated device, but what it means is I've got reverse battery protection and I've got uh, battery discharge protection, uh, which I think is very, very cool. Um, and uh, an actuator on the front there, which is which is, um, which is is from mod maker as well. Obviously the mod maker Squonk 510 pin and the mod maker Squonk bottles going in there because I think they're just bloody marvelous. But no, as far as it goes, it's a super light touch on the button. The button is flush and it's a super light touch to get it firing, um, which, is, uh, which is rather nice, but I quite like it. And it works like a trooper, but I'd wanted to design to design something that looked a little bit different. I've got a 24 mil um, spacer on the on the 510 up the top there, so it means I can put a 24 mil at squonking atomizer on the top without any kind of overhang and all that sort of malarkey, which is what I wanted. But I like the idea of having the battery tube visible down the side. Um, I thought that looked quite a cool little thing. And uh, what you can't see is I've kind of scalloped out these holes and all sorts of things. But on the insides as well, there's indents in there for the for the bottles to sit in and all that sort of thing. oh fucking i tell you <sighs> so that was a thing so yeah that was a thing um samuel gray asked how much the printer was like i just said matey 130 odd quid i think it was um now i know that um some people have already said am i going to be making these are these going to be a vaping biker thing no they're not no they're not um purely because um to be a mod maker you have to not only make the mods in the first place and the wiring in this is so there's such a small amount of wiring 
and it's so so much of a twat to fit in that um that i'm really gutted that i've got to reprint this again out of PETG rather than the PLA because the PLA is not brilliant with heat so it could melt um, and I've, so I've got to print it off with something a little bit angrier um, and I'm going to have to rewire one again and that's just going to boil my piss because it's like a nightmare but uh, no so i'm not going to go into production making them for that because i can't be asked and i don't have the time but also because to be a proper mod maker i have got windy bots tonight um you do have to um you do have to really kind of continue to um offer support and help and advice to all of your customers and that's just not something i can commit to so um while it is something that i'm very proud of and i like very very much indeed it's not something that i could go into production with but uh, but there we go so what else have we got going on um let's talk about expo and then we're going to get into the uh, then we're going to get into the into the other stuff and i can have a chat to you guys and check out your questions so um <clears throat> what what am i 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 um mods i'm taking to expo. first of all expo this weekend friday saturday sunday friday's the business to business day saturday sunday are the public days um it's at birmingham nec i uh, can't remember the times i think it opens at like 10 o'clock in the morning through to about six o'clock at night by all accounts it is going to be huge and i mean massive if you're at expo last year you'll know that it was a Fucking huge affair anyway but i believe this year is going to be even bigger which is just going to be amazing it's going to be stunning it really really is so yeah that's going to be absolutely massive definitely well worth the trip it's an experience if you've not been to one before definitely kind of you know don't be scared about it go and check it out if you're unsure about kind of um going to your first expo before jam i did a video called just convention tips that i did with um i did i had a little bit of an information with uh, uh twisted messes and jess marie from dhd accessories so uh, go and check that out hopefully i've given you a bunch of information but it's not as scary as you might think but it is a fantastic experience so definitely go and check one out um i'm really really looking forward to it's going to be immense it's going to be really cool i know i'm going to be there todd's going to be there um matt and v from suck my mod are going to be there daniel dj lsb is going to be there uh, dimitri um is going to be there so it's going to be just a, a, an amazing time it really really is i can't wait it's going to be really good run so uh, i'm traveling down to that tomorrow um and then uh, just so i can chill out in the hotel on the thursday and then go into the event on friday so if you thought if you're on the fence about going definitely go it's a hell of a thing it's going to be really really interesting i'm not entirely sure how certain things are going to play out with regards to stuff like rdas in the uk and all that sort of good stuff but i guess it's going to be down to individual vendors to uh, make their own decisions about that although i am quite sure that all of the juice and all that sort of stuff is all going to be the way it should be so that's uh, that's going to be good now then um i am just going to be I'll, I'll, i'm going to be taking my little scootery thing again that ruby had to go up when we uh, when we were at vape jam so you'll see me pootling about on one of those bad boys so if you do want to say hello please 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 do just don't interrupt me when i'm having the pee or <laughs> when i'm eating both times i could get quite angry with you or spray you with piss whenever you know <laughs> accidentally it's only little does what it likes um so <laughs> um, so yeah either apart from those two times i am without a doubt more than happy to uh, say hello um obviously if people um are chatting to me and you want to chat just you know if you don't mind waiting that's great it's just nice to uh, sort of be a little bit polite on these things as well but i'm more than happy to do selfies and all that sort of good stuff i know a bunch of people had said after the event last time they were too scared to come and say hi don't be like that i'm just a little fat guy um and exactly the same as you it's just i'm making a knob of myself on, on, on camera a few times a week and a few people watch so you know there's there's absolutely no difference there so please 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 come and say hello now then um stuff that i'm going to be taking i will be taking the uh, dna 75c i will probably be taking the drone with my uh, zap wraps going on there i'm going to be taking one of my purge mods which i've not decided on which one yet um i will be taking my rig v3 um, and I will be taking, I will probably, I, I might even take my coil art, the black coil art copper mech. I might even take that as well. Um, so I'll be taking a bunch of mechs. Um, obviously, I'm going to take 
this little puppy puppy just to see if it melts on me and goes horribly horribly wrong <laughs> um, and uh, i might take the might, might even take this tesla two stroke three as well so yeah i'm, I'm just going to take a bunch of things but what i would say is please 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 make sure you take a bunch of batteries while you will be able to buy batteries there um i don't know many places that sell them charged i don't know who evolution vaping I think they might have done charged ones at some point in time. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so so I'm not entirely sure if anyone's going to do that. So make sure you take batteries. If you do, please, please, please store them appropriately. Put them in battery cases and make sure that they don't kind of, you know, they don't blow up. Be safe on that one. You guys know the score by now. You know that. But, you know, please, please, please make sure you do. But just take a bucket load of batteries, charger and all that sort of malarkey. While you're there, make sure that you do um that you do just drink a lot as well because you'll be vaping way more than usual and so you will get dehydrated like a bastard and then you get the headaches and all that sort of stuff um so walking around in the heat it's going to be warm walking around in the heat i uh, antiperspirant take antiperspirant i know you shouldn't have to say that but just it's a good thing to do because <laughs> we can all get a bit stinky at times um uh same with grace hey, can you bring the tomahawk want to see it before i buy it as lovely as i would like to be a representative of every manufacturer out on the planet and bring uh, individual pieces of kit so you can all see them before you spend your hard-earned money on them that's kind of why i do the reviews <laughs> so no samuel but uh, it's a nice idea my friend um but uh but yeah there we go so just make sure be sensible take plenty of kit take more than one mod unless you're going to be buying stuff um <laughs> Todd, yes, yes, I am still talking. Get off it. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will be. Uh, I will be uh, taking a bunch of different mods. But if you just get, if you are going to be buying a mod, it's still usually a good idea to take maybe two at least with you, purely because if one breaks down while you're traveling um, and you've got nothing else, there is just nothing worse than kind of being without something like that. So you know, take a couple of things. But anyway, go and check out my convention video. Do that. <laughs> Ah. um juice wise what i'm going to be taking i know a few people asked me about that i've mixed up a bunch of cerberus which i've got halfway through already because i'm an idiot um so cerberus is the bottle shop from darkstar and uh, like i say i bought that i bought a 500 ml of that again um, purely because i like it very very much indeed and i've mixed up 120 ml of my uh, uh, offended by fenders which i've got 60 ml of the v1 and 60 ml of the v2 and for those um i uh if you want to mix them up it's quite an ry 40 flavor the v2 is a little bit sweeter with a little bit more toffee in it but you can go across to eliquidrecipes.com um search for offended by fenders and uh, that'll come up you'll have both oh, hey look hey look <laughs> Wait, stay there. Let me finish what I'm saying, otherwise I'll lose. So if you do want to go and make your own offended by fenders, um, go and check that out. I got all of the bits and bobs, all the concentrates and everything from Vapable in the UK, and uh, you can get Dark Star Nick shots and all that sort of stuff um, if you if you want to from Dark Star. But uh, yeah, you're going to have to just tinker around with the with the nicotine mix and stuff in there. But yes, offended by fenders, e-liquid recipes. Go and check it out. Now then, Mr. Todd. Hello. Hello. I, I just came in to congratulate you on a startling haircut. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. you know, you're my hero. So because of that, I figured, well, what can I do? What can I, I, I'm, I can't grow an extra three feet to uh, be as tall as you. So maybe, just maybe, I can have a similar haircut. You see, you do the right bit, but you get it cut. In. I have to dye mine. You get yours cut into the wood. That's... Yes, absolutely. That's the way forward. You see. Although I, I noticed, and I said to my to my my uh, hairdresser, my barber um, today. If you're anywhere near Norwich, by the way, go to a place called Courage Noble. Fucking marvelous. Um, and my grey hair on my beard is coming down one side rather than kind of down the middle, which is just wank. And on on my uh, on my tash. It's, it's rather than sort of flecks of grey, I'm getting kind of scaffold poles of grey hair. They're just coming in. It's, I'm not looking silver foxy or civilised in the slightest. I just look like a bird's pooed on my face. It's not good. It's not a good look. But it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, my camera keeps moving tonight, Todd, by the way. Fucking yeah. hell, um, I, I miss, Were you telling people what mods you were taking with you? Yes. Yes, I was. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that bit. Um, basically, I said, um, my one that I've made, my amazing design. Was it working? <laughs> yeah, oh, it was all oh, proper and everything. 
um so yeah so this bad boy is happening um and uh yeah i'm going to be taking a bunch of mechs i'm going to be taking the the the, the rig uh one of the purge mods and i might even take the coil art one just because you have, you've not tried the coil art mech have you well, no have you? no I, i've held one but i've not had a, a vape with one yeah i will uh, i'll put i'll put a special todd build in there for you <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> and I'll take that so you can you can have a toot of a man's mech. <laughs> oh my God, oh my Suck my mech. Um, <laughs> there's a channel in there somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a bunch of mechs and as well as you know a handful of the old uh, of the old uh, regulated jobbies as well. But I, I need to build up. Have you seen this um, Maze V3? No, I've not. It's an interesting little. This came across from um, Steam Island, from Rob over there, uh, the Steam Island, and the the it's quite a quite a smart looking little dripper. It's um it's nice and shiny and all that sort of malarkey, but the airflow is very very interesting in it. So worth going and checking that out on the website. Um, but it's a single coil job, which I like. Is it is it twenty four or twenty two? I don't know. Let me just let me just have a measure. I'm I'm neglecting all of the people in chat. Like I should be going and check. I need you to be a, a, an admin for me. Um, not no, right now. I would, I would just agree with everybody. <laughs> no, this is a twenty two mil, by the way. But oh. yeah, this looks quite an interesting one. So I think I'm going to have to coil this up for uh, for Expo as well. Um, but also I am going to have a rewatch of your Squape videos. Mm -hmm. To uh, to see whether I fancy taking this in dripper mode or in tank mode. It's a fair, uh, it's very good. Um, yeah. but you, you have to get the build just bang on. If if you don't, it's very easy to make it leaky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll pop an Instagram build in it. That'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Just it, but you're a builder. I mean, I just make coils. You're a builder, so. <laughs> I imagine there'd be lots of builders watching. They go, "No fuck off, is he? No fucking building." <laughs> you sneaky look. <clears throat> right. Anyway, so what are you taking? What are you taking to uh, Expo? Uh, I think I shall. I, I usually just take my uh, my my budget gear when I, I get on a plane because yeah. customs like to play with it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably take the a runt mod with me, and I'll probably take a vape droid. I, I mean, that's what I took to me with Germany, and I'll probably take the same again. Yeah. Um, just the uh, old dependable gear. Uh, Fair enough. Um, but now looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Really, it's, well, I I, I really like Expo just because of the size of it and the variation of gear in it. Because you, you you do get a really good amount of hardware in it as well as the as well as all the the the, the juice. Yeah, which I think is no, nice. and I think it's bigger than it was last year. Do you know? What? I've not actually even looked at the exhibitors to to see what's going on. Yeah, um, but I mean, have you talked about that already? Um, about you know what kind of gear is going to be there or not really, not no. really, because I've not looked at the exhibitor list either, purely because you get there and you kind of, well, I haven't had time, um, but uh, when you get there, there's always more people than was on the list. So, um, yeah. you know, it, I guess those guys have a real sort of tough time to be able to figure out exactly or get everything on in, in time to publish it out to people. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of like the surprise as well of being able to turn up and go, oh, fuck me. <laughs> 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 it's a little bit more adds a little of excitement in my very dull and boring life <laughs> oh dear um joy of sim here we go look don't forget guys if you have got a question for me or mr todd then um i don't know what you're signed in as mr todd todd's reviews i have no idea uh, let's have a little look and see if i can find one of your comments but if you want to speak to either of us start your conversation i mean we're not gonna have a conversation as such we're not gonna forget everyone else and just be one-on-one -on -one with you but we'll try for a little bit we'll just you know um <laughs> try and uh pop at vaping biker or at todd's reviews i'm sure he signed in as todd's reviews but the silly old sod can't remember so that, that, let, let, let me just check I, I'm trying to find one of your old comments here, Mr. T. And can he find it? There's been a lot of people commenting. I'm sorry if I've, if you've been uh, asking things and I've not uh, I've not answered your question. Anyway, so yeah, at Todd's Reviews, do that at the start if you've got a question for Mr. T. 
Um, no. Uh, yes. So what someone asked, <laughs> are we looking to purchase anything special there? And I think the resounding answer on that is no, because we don't really know what's going to be there as yet. Would you say the same? I would say I'm a reviewer. I don't buy anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wanker! <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't honestly know who's... I mean, it's not like, you know, like you had Jam and, and Stuttgart and whatnot where you had modders galleries. I mean... You know, Expo never never had that last year, did they? No, it's not the super posh stuff. It's actually stuff that people can purchase and they haven't got to queue up for four hours with to find out that they're already sold out. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody will be selling something 3D printed somewhere and there'll be a <laughs> massive queue. Um, <laughs> I imagine so. <laughs> uh, no, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh zio zalin says i'm trying a pico squeeze 50 watt max regulated mod bypass but bypass only mode i'm having difficulties finding a good build for it can you give me any hints um i would say it's going to be hugely dependent on what sort of atomizer you're using what kind of vape experience you want and uh, and you know how you vape so i imagine that if mark or myself gave you advice there would be quite different types of builds very different um now, uh, Western Vapors, uh, Vapor Biker, Ash wants to know if the wheelchair rental is near the entrance of Expo. I have no idea, I'm afraid. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I'm taking a little, I have like a trike thing to take to these events to go whizzing around. And we're going to video Mark on when we've had beer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's going to be awesome. I just thought of that. Um, <laughs> um, but yes, so no, I don't know where the wheelchair hire is, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. If I do find out, um, I will uh, I will let people know. Um, Schwartzy, Vape Michael O'Dean, Beer Expo, I'm by. I'm always a sucker for, uh, for beer, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um but uh yeah i do apologize if i can't spend a huge amount of time with you but uh yeah if you want to if you want to give me a beer then um uh, that would be lovely um big fan of guinness or if i'm going crazy with bottled lagers uh, no actually no it's going to be summery i might go really girly and have things like copperberg cider and stuff guinness and copperberg cider yeah they do a, an elderflower and something Eld elderflower and limes it which is just stunning over ice in the yeah, heat. Oh, with you. Oh, um, <laughs> it's not the most manly biker drink in the world, to be fair, but it's what it is. Um, <laughs> uh, WN8 Vapes said, do you need cash for Expo or can you pay by card? I think some, if I remember correctly, and you might correct me here, um, Mark, but I think some vendors have kind of the technology to do card stuff, but a lot of them are cash. Yeah, that's... It, kind of depends on what they're selling um just your, your run-of-the-mill vendors are normally set up to take anything yeah they want your money the best way they can so yeah if but you would, do would... take a pocket load of cash so keep it you know on your awareness you know be a be a be a, be knowing where it is just so nobody lifts your wallet or anything like that um uh any thoughts on the advocate mad hat 24 mil mech See, at this point, I would ordinarily say, if I was particularly grumpy, I would say, go and check my review out for it, um, to which you would then go and look, uh, because I'm a review channel, and not see that I've not done a review for it, because I don't have one. But in the, <laughs> today, I'm going to be nice and sociable and say, I don't have one, I'm afraid. Um, Edward Collins? Oh, I couldn't tell you anything about it, buddy. Um, Manji Hanspel says, I'll bring my Claymore so you can finally use one. It's a mine, isn't it? I don't know if I fancy that, to be honest with you. But um, <laughs> you got a Claymore, didn't you? That is that that Scottish mech, isn't it? Is it? That's the Scottish mech, yes. Lovely old one. Very good. Very good. Are you going to do a review for the Admiral Tube mech mod? Yes, I will be. Um, at Todd's Reviews, you got a half yet to... What? Oh, you got a half yet to review. I think that's that squonker that's got that steppy thing, isn't it? Half? Half? Oh God, uh, Osiris, Osiris, um, yeah, Osiris, Benji. Osiris. yeah. Uh, I I wish I had one of Benji's mods to review, but um, and unfortunately, I, I I've I've spent all my money on other gear, so um, but he did have I think last night 
there was a few went up for sale on his Facebook group last night, but um, they are very nice. I like the the Art Deco look to them. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I've not got one. I've art Deco, you say? It's a little bit Art Deco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's not anywhere near as good as yours, Dean. <laughs> um, uh, Gangster Vape, you bought a Rebel mod at Vape Jam. Do you reckon there'll be a Rebel Squonker? Yes, there will be a Rebel Squonker, as far as I know. And this was something that I needed to update you on as well. Once again, I haven't reviewed this quite yet because I'm seeing how this 3D print holds up to a lot of use. Um, to see if the color goes funky because it does kind of wear in a little bit So I'm seeing what happens to the color on this before I can do the review on that. So that's why that's not happening um, uh, What else have we got silent one? Thank you very much for introducing me to dark star love the juice Thank you very much for thanking me very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, do you have any recommendations for a series deck RDA? I ordered a v2 from J mods. I don't be I don't really understand series deck RDA Yeah Anything? Anything big, I imagine. Have you got any series? Have you have you ever built a series, Coil? No, it's not my kind of thing, mate. <laughs> um, I think with a lot of the 24 mil RDAs now, so again, it depends on what type of vape you want from it, but you can get a decent series build in most things these days. Um, you haven't put the broadside on the mech list. No, I haven't, Jack. You're absolutely right. And if you can invent a few more hours in the day, I would be more than happy to do so. So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, what do you think of the V3 flip? What's the V3 flip? Is that that uh, RDA with the flippy top on it? Is that the flip? That you had one of them, didn't you? Um, what was that? The one were from uh, Steel Vape. Yeah. Is that Steel the flip? Vape. I think it was. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, I haven't got one, so I can't tell you. Um, what else have we got going on here? Uh, I would love to meet you at Expo. You're the first reviewer that I watched and inspired me to start smoking. I now own a vape shop in Essex, so thank you. And beer on me. Ryan Lynch said that to me, not you, Mr. Todd. He came to me first, so fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where that level of aggression just came out of. And fingers as well. I I'm sorry. I apologize. I keep telling you, you have to share. <laughs> and respect your elders. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Ryan, thank you very much for your kind words. So pleased that that's moved you on and uh, you've now got to the point of having your own vape shop. I do hope that it's a quality one and uh, that uh, I'm sure it is. If you watch me, then you've clearly got a very strong, uh, positive outlook on these things. So that's great. Now then, I've not seen many questions from Mr. Todd, so don't forget at Todd's Reviews at the start of it, ideally in capitals, so we can see that to make sure that we can get anything coming across. To uh, Toddy Poos, uh, what else have we got going on here? Da, 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 da. Todd, did you get a look at the new Svomester RDCA? Or is that supposed to be RDTA? What's an RDCA? New Svomester, anyway. Yeah, I did know they had something new coming out, but uh, ever since I I wasn't nice about the K Fun Five, so um, they don't talk to me. Uh, but um, yeah, it's about time too. They take a hell of a long time in between their products. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. But that'll be interesting. Well, I mean, the K Fun Five. When was that? Well, I suppose that was fairly mid last year, was it? Yeah, I suppose it wasn't that far after the four. It was. Uh... It wasn't that far after before what. <laughs> after the four, after four, after four. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to do a build here on. I'm trying to build below zero point three, and I'm 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 just not used to it. Da da da. What else have we got going on here? What else have we got going on here? Um, Western Vapors, Dean, have you got the chance to dry the concentrates Dimmy gave you in April from West End e-liquids? Is that the biker, the backer stuff? If that's the backer stuff, no, I haven't. And I've got to say, um, when I first got that, if that's if that's the gear, um, I didn't know because there, there was very little conversation because he kind of he thrust it upon me uh, when we were <laughs> <laughs> uh, outside the hotel. And I didn't really kind of understand what was going on because I thought it was backer. If you don't know what backer is, by the way, it's bikers against child abuse. 
and they do a fantastic thing in in uh, America, and they're just sort of they're, they're starting to have chapters in various places around the world now. And what they do is they offer sort of comfort and protection to kids that have suffered it. So, um, for instance, if if a kid's been abused or you know had a had a whatever time um, and feels threatened or is it just feeling very sort of anxious and unsafe in the world and all that sort of stuff, quite often the backer guys will will kind of um, go and um, kind of give the kid a little bit of fun in as much as you know all kids like loud motorbikes and all that sort of good stuff but also bikers tend to be kind of quite burly big scary bastards and um so what they'll do is they'll have things like they'll post um uh particular guys actually at the premises the whole time so then the abuser or whatever can't won't come back or is less likely to come back so the child can feel safe they do a whole bunch of things so if you're unsure about it or want to know more about it go and check out bikers against child abuse it's an amazing 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 thing that was started off in the states and started to come over here anyway the um the 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 um concentrates that i think west end vapors is talking about kind of came over and they just had the backer logo on i thought well i don't really understand i looked on west was it west end vapors is that your juice is it your juice um because i looked on the website and i couldn't see the flavors that were on there and i thought you know when someone gives you something at, at, a, at a convention or an expo and you don't really have the full backstory to it you are a little bit concerned that you might be vaping semen <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> and I looked on the website and I couldn't see those flavors, so I got a little bit confused and stuff. But I will be trying it now. I have spoken to uh, Fresh O3 actually, put my mind at, at, uh, at rest then that it's supposed to be very, very good e liquid. So I'm looking forward to getting involved with it. Um, there's a thing actually, there's a thing for, for, for anybody that's watching and is going to go and see Dean at the expo and you want to give him something. My advice would be to put it in a little bag with a little note saying who you are what it is what it's for so that when he takes it home he's he's got all that stuff in one place Bang because on. you'll forget otherwise because he's getting old <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i think it helps i think it'll help us both to be honest with you but i had um i got a lot of stuff at jam and i got home and then i had to say i spent ages searching through messages and all that sort of stuff to go oh who gave me these coils or who gave me this juice or whatever else is a fucking pain in the dick so yes good answer mr todd and do I the am. same for todd no, um, don't, don't give me anything please don't <laughs> <laughs> give mr t everything but be aware that he's got to use get on uh, get on a flight to go back home so um i think he only accepts high, high um high-end stabwood mods these days i'm not entirely sure no just beer beer just beer there we go beer so yeah if you're unsure about your stuff and want to give us something beer is always accepted um joy of sim says do you or todd have a favorite drip tip that you find you put on your device every device you're using after you um yes well kind of yes i use my uh, i've got two of these chunky um i think these are the nubbin tips i'm not in sure nub tips um from dhd uh this gold one this gold flake one looks brilliant on top of anything brass and this white one is actually a glow in the darky thing not the uh, i'm ever going to watch it because i don't vape in the dark why would you um but um but no i think that white sort of ivory-esque looking thing looks cool so i use that on anything they use those generally on most things that uh, that need goon goon tips um but i've got a bunch of them um otherwise hugely dependent i've got i've got these kind of really cool wood looking ones that um uh gary dibley made for me at driptip.co.uk drip tip or drip tips can't remember um and uh, pick that up in a bit yeah <laughs> i got to make me a couple of those um which i think are very really nice so i like a lot of those but you tell me <laughs> i'm just waiting for the cute dear gaddy regarding the drip tip <laughs> uh my drip tips um i got sent teflon drip tips oh well over a year ago maybe maybe even two years ago and they look something like that and they're they're white they're there's there's no o-rings on them or anything like that and they're all in different diameters and i just really really like these and also all my other drips are cyan mod drip tips so that, that's what i have very nice too 
do. So that's the joy of Sims question. Um, Samuel Gray, can you send me links for the plans of your 3D printed stuff? Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie uh, right i'm gonna scroll just looking for uh, the at vaping bikers or at um todd's reviews um ryan lynch ryan again we missed you at vape jam hopefully we don't miss you at the expo where are you likely to be on friday so i can personally thank you for your work and buy you a guinness that's very kind of you ryan um i will be everywhere mate there's you're not going to miss me you're not going to miss me um but uh, i have no idea where i'm going to um kind of make a base i haven't, I haven't quite sussed that one out yet i think the uh, ohms distro guys have got a little, little bit of a lounge going on so i might be hanging out there but i believe that they have got a chill out area away from the the kind of the seating area next to the stage and the chill out area i believe is um is somewhere where uh, the, the the vendors around it aren't allowed to have music blaring out and all that sort of stuff. So that should be quite cool. That should be quite nice. Failing that, probably VIP or something like that, because, you know, I'm a bit of a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, West End Vapors. Yeah, um, it's just confirming that that is his uh, e-liquid. Uh, drop me a message on, on any social media. Or drop me an email at info at vapingbiker.co.uk. Um, I'd like to have a chat about the, uh, the, the back of stuff. That would be great. Thank you very much indeed. Um, but uh, Bob Eads, Vaping Biker. All right, geez. <laughs> I like people that start off like, all right, sunshine. Just got rid of my Hog V3 and want something to replace it. What would you recommend? Fuck knows. Anything. Anything you like. This is a question that Todd and I get asked all the time. Um, what's your favorite? What would you recommend? And it's always, always, always down to how you vape, the type of vape you like, and also the aesthetics of a mod. I mean, I can't I can't understand why, but there may be some people that don't think that this is an absolute work of brilliance. And I, you know, I <laughs> I can't, I think they're wrong, but um, <laughs> there may be people that feel that way. So, you know, it, uh, it's one of those things where, you know, that's why we do the reviews to give you the choice to show you as much as we can. So you can then check that out and go, yes, I like the look of that or I hate the look of that. Anything to add to that, Mr. T? Yeah. So uh, what would you recommend then? Fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 uh, um okay so someone tc vapes is actually mentioned oh. not talking to me at all um uh saying that um he's got a 2700 bat uh, mod and the battery hits harder don't know what to tell you the interesting thing if you go and check out daniel dj no 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 mooch battery mooch because i was on the show with daniel and Mooch the other night um if you go and check out battery mooch's page um, I think you'll be quite interested to look and see what happens to the, particularly the iJoy 2700 when it comes to battery sag under low resistance builds. Um, and that is a video that we, uh, that, that will be coming out shortly, um, to tell you a bunch more information about that. However, I am actually, depending on the build, if I'm putting a 0.3 or above build on the triple X mod now, I'm using the iJoy 2700. If I'm putting a 0.2 or under, I am putting 18650s in, the VTC 5As. Oh, controversial. Yeah. They're not as bad as the 26650s though, are they? No. Well, I mean, no. I've, not, I've not actually looked, to be honest with you, but no. They, they perform very similarly. It depends on the battery. They perform quite similarly to some of the 18650s, but just obviously will have a slightly longer life. Um, do you not voop poo in the dark side, in the dark, Dean? No, I don't. I don't. I don't voop in the dark. I never I never understood why people would want bum bacteria. I mean, my beard carries enough shit around in it all the time anyway. I, I don't really know why I'd want bum bacteria on the drip tip. Yeah. Have you ever vooped? Have you ever thought, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and have a shit and I'm going to sit there vaping away? Well, we, we have many conversations while you're sitting in the toilet. So Yeah, but I'm not vaping at the time. Oh, but it's okay to, it's okay to text me and Facebook message me when you're yeah. in the toilet. Hi, and send me occasional fit picture. Fucking right. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not kidding either. I'm not but, kidding. <laughs> 
uh, Matt Brown, Vapor Biker, Todd's Reviews. Lots of love from Finland, guys. You're the best. Oh, Finland. I never, it never ceases to amaze me how, how many people all around the world watch. It, it, it kind of blows you away, doesn't it? I mean, we've had people from South Africa, from, oh, well, all over the place. I don't know why I just singled out South Africa there, but from all over the show, which I think is very, very cool. Um, right. Uh, Daniel Wright says he loves it. I'm not entirely sure what he loves, but whatever it is, he loves it. And I like it. It's all in capitals. So I like the enthusiasm there. That's good. Um, I think Blizzard, Vape Michael, all the noisy shite music and stuff is a pain in the butt. But I am old. Yes, unfortunately, yes. that's the case. That's, <laughs> and I think we're with you on that one. Uh, Joyous in Vaping Biker and Todd's Reviews. Have ever of you ever heard about nicotine salts and the possible, the, the, and what? And the possible better hit you're supposed to get from it once added to e liquid? I've never tried a juice with, with uh, nicotine salts in it um but it as far as i know it's not it's not under any different regulation to regular nicotine that we get um but uh, I've, I've heard of people using it but i've never tried it have you um as far as it, well you know the not the bow what's the american one the jewel yeah you know you could never sell that here because it still states that it's like 45 milligram even though it's made up of salts um yeah. i don't know i, I really don't know Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, uh, Vaping Biker Todd's Reviews. Greetings from Austria. Hello. Hello. Uh, Samuel Gray, Vaping Biker, Tomahawk or Broadside? I think I'd probably go with the Broadside because it's essentially a safer mod and you've got more choice of what to stick on top of it because it has a five, uh, floating 510. Um, <laughs> Daniel Wright says, you're fucking mod at Vaping Biker. So I imagine he's saying that he loves my mod. <laughs> Uh, Nick Papp says hi from Greece. Yasu Tikanis Kala. <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, God, I tell you. I can say fuck all in a lot of different languages. <laughs> uh, uh, Schwartzy says, what would win a fight? Hedgehog with a flick knife or a squirrel with a nunchucker? I'm going to go with a squirrel with a nunchuck, to be honest with you. They're quicker, more agile, and nunchucks are a long-range weapon. Yeah, I'd go for a squirrel every every day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Oshposh asks for a good mech for a beginner. Have you got any favourites on that side of things? Uh, I think we said that last week. Depends on budget. Depends on budget. Yeah. Um, as my usual is, I would always go and look at the classifieds first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Someone's asking if the coil art mage tricker, a hybrid, or a 510. Go and check out the review. <laughs> it is on the YouTube channel. I'll talk to you all the way about it. Um, Pat Falvey, can you scroll up to my text? Sure, there's there's not many texts to go through. <laughs> can you not just ask again, Pat? That makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Copy and paste your question again, fella. <laughs> um, hi from New York, USA, says Thomas Grimaldi. I fucking love those kind of um, Italian-y kind of surnames. I think that's bloody marvellous. Italian. I, oh, that makes me happy, that does. I bet it makes a brilliant pasta as well. Or is that... Can you say that? Is that is that kind of social stereotyping? I don't know. <laughs> uh, how is the OBF uh, after a long steep? I'm, I've never... I've never, I've not managed to get my offended by offenders to have a particularly long steep, but after kind of three weeks or so, I think it, it really comes into its own. Um, Schwartz, he says, hello from Milton Keynes. Look, after traveling around the world, we've now gone to Milton Keynes. It's good, isn't it? Um, is there going to be a Geek Vape G Box S100? So, what is there going to be one? There is one. Uh, sold out and then discontinued after your review. Discontinued? Is it really? Well, I guess the first I've heard of it. So first I've heard of it, which is a shame because it wasn't a bad little little squonker, really. Huh. Well, there you go. We all learned something new. Um, have either of you had a toot from the Inakin T20 mouth to lung? Yes, I have mine sitting right here, and I have this occasionally so I can have a little... little. Uh... Not, to be, not to be outdone. <laughs> 
<laughs> you look like you're using the big battery as well. I'm using the little dinky thousand milliamp hour one. I didn't know there was one. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's all right. Uh, do you think it's better than the old T18 though? Uh, no, I, the, the coils that I find, if you leave it for any length of time, they flood. You think? Yeah, well, mine's yeah. that. Interesting, because, yeah, this I don't use this very often, and I don't get a whole bunch of flooding going on. No. What else have we got? Hey, boys, just dropped in to say hi. Hope you're doing well. Lots of love from Sweden. That's from The Man Z. Alastair Peterson says, uh, Vaping Biker, Todd's Reviews. Apart from the Kangatek drip box, I imagine that's what you're saying, 160, and the Lost Fake drone. Are there any other dual battery squonk mods on the market? Good question. It's tough one, isn't it? Off the top of my head, no. No, I, no, no I'm aware. No, I don't have any dual. I think the... Uh, I think the, the 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 I think Revel may have posted something recently about it, either on their Facebook group or on Instagram. So worth checking those guys out. But um, no, I can't really uh, I can't really hear a great deal. Can't really was hear there, a great deal. Uh, can't really think of a great deal. Was there an, an, up, an update to the Kangaroo One Sixty? Was there not a V Two? No, wasn't that that kind of thin, boxy one um, that looked like the ah. Oh, Oh, what was what? Whoa. Oh, I love, <laughs> I love doing that to you. Yeah, what do you remember those those um really old box mods from about three or four years ago that had the BB style buttons in that were just popular as fuck going everywhere? Little yeah. metal boxes. They did a they didn't they do something that had a kind of a, anyway, we're getting off point. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh no i've got no idea of an updated kanga one um vote and biker and todd's reviews hello from my house about two miles from the nec i'll be stalking you on saturday well nowhere near as much as myself and mr todd will be getting drunk on saturday night and then stalking you and um going and sitting in your hedgerows i imagine just because <laughs> that's all sort of guys we are <laughs> uh what else have we got going on um where's the scottish ball bag getting getting his raspberry mint have you got raspberry mint i got raspberry mint or are they talking about another scottish ball bag um i, I had raspberry mint but then um, i think that was it uh where were you getting your raspberry mint from uh just add nick just said nick All right there we go jobs with jobs again um ba -da -ba -da. right now am i going to do a review for the geek vape mech I already have done, Daniel, but thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, hang on. He's talking about the Geek Vape Mech Pro, um, which was that, which is the dual battery box mod. And that's a good good point, actually, because um, Mr. 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 Green um, had a look at the uh, the Geek Vape Mech Pro. And one of the reasons he didn't like it was because um, he said you couldn't take it apart to clean it. Well, I think I showed you in my kind of first look video about the uh, the Mech uh, Pro that you can take it apart. So you can clean it pretty darn easily. So um, I've talked about it in in subsequent vlogs. Uh, but I haven't done a dedicated review on it just because there wasn't really a whole hell of a lot that I could add to kind of what I what I found in my first review, you know, not review, first look when I, I was telling people about the safety factor of it. So yeah, it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a thing. I've not really got any plans to do a review, but you know, I, I might do it at some point in time. Depends if my review queue ever slows down. Um, any regulated twenty seven hundred squonks? Oh. No, is um is Mr. Moxon doing a, a, like a Yee Yee twenty seven hundred? Did I see? I honestly, do not know. I, I mean, I know he was doing a squonk, but I don't know if it was a twenty seven hundred. No. I do know that there's in in Laddy Daland. There's a lot of twenty seven hundreds in the pipeline. Um, yeah. Um, how is Dizzy doing? My Springer Ollie loves seeing TJ on Todd's channel yeah <laughs> don't we all uh dizzy's kind of okay she had a uh, she, she wasn't very well last night so I, that's why i was up all night with her um what do we think of the goon v1.5 it's an interesting one have you got any thoughts on that did you ever try the original goon 
No, it wasn't. I mean, because they used to sell them, uh, but uh, it, it's not one that I actually. It, funnily enough, I was talking to Mr. Mister Breslin, a uh, uh, guy that works in one of the vapor lounge shops down in Glasgow, and he's a huge goon fan. Yeah. And he swears by them, and um, he's hanging out for the 1.5 as well. Yeah. He swears by it. It's going to be an interesting one. It does look if it's it, it looks like rather than where they've gone with the LP, which was which was a mistake in my opinion. Um, it looks as though they've kind of gone back to the original goon, and I'm not entirely sure how it's different. So I may I'm sure they won't give me one. So I'll I may actually go and purchase one of those just to because if it is a goon that I like, then that would be really good because I never had the first one. Much to the shock and dismay of a lot of people, apparently everyone's got a goon. But there you go. <laughs> um yee chip or daiko's chip yee for me every day of the week purely because i can't cope with the daiko's chip because it confuses the fuck out of me uh the the new well unless you're doing temp control if you're going down temp control then daiko's every day of the week other than that yee for me there we go uh, pardon me I just noticed i'm vaping at 60 watts rather than 66.6 hang on <laughs> talk about yourselves <laughs> yeah so yeah the uh the, the die codes board just confuses me i'm sure it's very very good but uh i can't handle it because i'm stupid so they, they, yeah. they do have a 2700 mech coming very soon oh d what the 2700 mech, but they um you know like the danny uh, yeah they have a 2700 version of that with okay. that i think it's going to have a newer board than it as well okay that'd be interesting that would be good. Um, uh, uh, Pat Falvey, uh, is it safe to vape the Triad DNA 250 at 1 ohm, um, 70 watts with Fogstar batteries? I've never used Fog... Are Fogstar batteries those cheap and nasties that are off something else? Never heard of them. No. Um, the best thing to do, Pat, would be to go and check Battery Mooch's page. Go and just Google Battery Mooch and go onto his ECR page um, and uh, and see what his results are for those particular batteries, because I haven't used them. I, haven't, I don't know. To be honest. Um, what's the name of the Bakewell juice that I had? I will be getting some more of this this weekend. This is Psycho Bunny Well Baked, which I quite enjoyed. I think it's a little bit angry on coils, but it does taste rather well. I, it's been a while since I've had a Bakewell tart, and it's fucking glorious. And I have a Bakewell tart as well. It's by... Who did, vape Glory. Who? No, mine is by Vape Glory. Cherry Bakewell? Uh, no, this is Psycho Bunny... I think that's the company, the Eco Vape. If you see the big Eco Vape stand, those guys sell that stuff, I believe. But uh, yeah, it's rather nice. Um, I, I got some ages ago from um, like a year or two ago, a couple of years ago, from um, uh, the Nobacanists down in Southampton. And I yeah. think I went through a lot of that in a very, very short space of time because it's a very, very Moorish flavor. Um, Vape and Biker Todd's Reviews, can I have a Q-Class, please, for my birthday? Do you want to give the man a Q-Class for his birthday? Yeah, it's, 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 it's just send your uh, address to Dean the Vape and Baker, <laughs> and, uh, and he'll send you one straight out. <laughs> or not. Um, but good try, good try. Um, uh, 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 here we go. Schwartz, he says, Vape and Biker, I'm, I'm assuming you say, he's talking about the goon. It has a slot instead of three holes. The goon, not an old flame. That's the difference. So is that really the difference, that they've got slot instead of three holes? That can't be right, surely. Mm. <laughs> no. Ah, that's spectacular. Um, <laughs> uh, Louisa asks, is it a strong cherry? It's not a strong cherry. It's it's kind of, it's a Bakewell tart. So it's kind of, you know, it's not a massively strong cherry. Um, my wife really likes a good cherry vape. Um, while she has found a couple, the easiest thing we did was just make our own. And you can get, um, which, which cherry do I use? If I can find it, I will let you know. But I think I use a uh, flavor art black cherry, I think. And uh, and that does make a very nice cherry flavor. And if you add it to things like Coca-Cola and all that sort of good stuff, then you can get your Dr. Pepper vibe going on, which is which is lovely. I can't find it now. I've got, here we go. Here we go. 
here we go black cherry flavor up so if you grab yourself some of that some pre-mix base mix and some uh, some nicotine shots um you can make yourself a very very nice little vape going on there <sighs> what else we got going on now we're not going to be going on forever tonight everybody watching um so if you've got any questions please do uh get, please do get them in sharpish because we're going to be going very very soon i've still got some building to do i've got to build the scrape for tomorrow i'm probably going to build this maze v3 for tomorrow um and uh, i've got some other recoiling and all that sort of good shit and figuring out stuff and packing and things and shit and stuff so yeah make sure you get those in we will try and go hardcore through these once again if you see if you want to ask me one at vape and biker at uh at Mark, or is it Todd's Reviews? I think it's Todd's Reviews. At Todd's Reviews, if you want to ask something for, for Mark. Right, so here we go. Um, Samuel Gray, can you replace the drone I left on the bus? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you had no original goon. This is to me. Nor is CSMNT RDA. It doesn't seem right. You should really fix this ASAP. Nah, nah. I'm not a hype train kind of guy. I like to forge my own path. That's what I do. <laughs> 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 uh vape and bike with todd's reviews have you tried the british made aeronaut everything i do seems to have somebody comment about the aeronaut v2 and tell me that it's amazing i didn't do it but you reviewed it didn't you i reviewed the first one and i bought i bought both of them and i had the v2 as well uh, the v2 was better a lot better um yeah i would, I would give it the only problem i had with my v2 was the um, the, the, the O-rings were a bit in the slack side, but uh, an, an excellent vape. I thoroughly recommend it. Splendid. There you go. So that's not that answered. You can squawk with it. And you can squawk with it, yeah. If anybody asks me from here on out about the aeronaut, I'm just going to say, go and watch, Todd. That's all I'm going to do. Um, now then, after that, what have we got here? What have we got here? Someone's saying... The Goon, Douglas says the Goon 1.5 also has longer screws for the clamps for the bigger bills. Oh, so longer screws and slots instead of holes. That sounds worth the extra spend, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Vapor. Jacob says, I know you don't review RTA anymore, but what is the best RTA for the money? Well, he kind of answered <laughs> what I'm going to say at the start of your question there, Jacob. <laughs> um, it's best to go and check out other channels such as, um, I know Suck My Mod have done a few tanks recently, so go and check him out. Um, obviously, you know, Grim or whoever else and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. I will say that the Kylin from Vandy Vape is rather good. A little bit leaky if unless you get the, uh, the, the, the wicking right, but uh, it's actually quite a nice little vape um what else have we got uh louisa says sweet thanks it's quite right louisa uh vape and bike with Tosh reviews love your video hope to see you friday at expo ryan from suffolk right ryan from suffolk make sure you tell us you come up to us and say hello i'm ryan from suffolk that's what you have to do um by the way because i'm nice hey you've got you've got some you've got some shed life things haven't you uh, what me? Who? What have I got? What have I done? I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to establish whether I'm a nicer review than you are or not, because I, I'm going to be taking these as a bunch of stickers, and I might do some some little giveaways. So if people come up and are nice to me, I might give them a sticker. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're you're a celebrity. I'm just a twat in a shed. I mean, oh. nobody cares about me. <laughs> <laughs> um uh what would be better coil art or v god mech why are you asking me i've not checked out the v god if you check my channel out you'll see that one um i do like the coil art one i think it hits very very well go and check my review out on that bad boy um ba -da -ba -da -ba. oh it keeps just flicking and going all all, all wrong oh, can, um, I, can, I, can i answer daniel's one can, can yes I, you can. daniel what's the signature tips mod really like that's the worst thing you could ever say to a reviewer what's it really <laughs> like because that kind of implies that my review i was just lying the whole way through it just, yeah. just, no never ask that question no when 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 we give you a review we give you a review because that's how we feel about the product because we're not going to go out there into the big wide world of the internet and just talk bollocks about something 
just for the sake of it. We get nothing beneficial from it. Um, both Todd and myself have slated products that some people have thought have been the best thing in the world. Some people haven't. And, you know, it's we give you a genuine opinion. And if you, if you watch either of our channels for any period of time, you'll know that. So, yeah, if we tell you stuff in a review, that's how we feel about it. Simple as. Yeah. Um, ba -da -ba. right here we go let's not flick uh voting bug you have a lot to do including fighting crime in this t-shirt absolutely i've actually got this tattooed on my chest um primarily because I, I expected these corners to finish at my nipples but it didn't quite happen it's a little bit lower so i've now got it looks like these corners have earrings with my nipples hanging down um <laughs> will you review my coils people keep out do, do you get asked to review coils um <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's so funny. <laughs> I get I get asked to review coils a lot. You can't really review a coil because um unless you're a sort of here we go, I'm gonna say a word I can't say now. Met met meteorologist, is that a word? That's the word, isn't it? The people yes. that know about metals and things. You can't really get to do it. So I, I explained this to somebody the other day, which is basically my review would be, hi, thanks very much for joining me. I'm doing the vaping bike. And we're going to have a look at this alien. Here's the alien. It looks nice, doesn't it? Vapes, all right. Thanks very much. See you later. <laughs> That's it. That's as good as it can be. There is, uh, there's nothing else that I can add to that. So um, whilst I do use I do use people's coils in, uh, in reviews, and when I use them in RDAs or art, not, not that I do RTA stuff, but when I put them in RTAs these days, I do let people know, um, as I did with the MTN coils for the for the BMI Nova the other day. So yeah, I can't really review just those. Um, Fame Biker, can you get Todd a fan? His shed looks like it's fogged out. He's sitting next to a door, so he just likes that hot boxing and vapor. It's not. It's, it's because I'm, I'm zero point two on build. <laughs> Louisa says, Why is Todd's shed turned into a pimp pad with the blue lighting? <laughs> Make I'm, it red. Make it red so it looks like you're you're doing a red light thing. There you go. Look. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna present him on that. Look, look at that. Look. Oh, I'm gonna stay at that. Hey God. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got going on here? Uh, vaping biker, anyone who's colorblind, uh, going to turn up Shod's, uh, turn up at Todd's shed thinking it's a brothel. Ah, oh, name and we've gone red, you see? There we are. Uh, do you still use the limitless box with the changeable plates? And how do you feel about it now, Andrew? No, I don't, mate. I don't. If you, if you, it, we can't, we can't go back to, um, to a lot of the stuff that we've used in the past, unless we've got a natural kind of real love of the product, it's really difficult to go back because we're, we're using too much other shit the whole time. You look like you want to say something as well. No, it was a good, I thought it was a good mod. It was just, I, I think I gave it to Chaz at work, um, but the only thing I didn't like, it was the, the corners. It was really yeah. sharp corners on it, but it was, a, it was a good bit of kit. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I think I've still got it kicking around somewhere. I need to put that in the next raffle. Um. Oh, do you want to tell people how much you raised, just in case they're unaware, and in case people watched the uh, the vlog last week before you'd done the raffle draw? Do you want to let people know how much you raised on that one? Uh, the raffle for the second chance kennels, including gift aid, we got £2,900, which was awesome. That's awesome. Fantastic. That's really cool. That's really cool. Well done. Good job. Good job, Mr. T. Um Vape and Biker plus Todd's Reviews equals worst boy band ever. I think we could I think we could rock a, a middle-aged boy. <gasps> we could be like, you know, you know when you see like Spandau Ballet guys and all that sort of stuff now, they're still rocking a bit of the 80s look going on and pretending they're super young. Maybe we should do like we should go to one of these expos or conventions with kind of dyed eyebrows and like black hair and just kind of wear white frilly shirts and things and and no. You mean like, uh, like I will be going to the expo? <laughs> <laughs> With a more romant a new romantics kind of vibe. Then we can pretend that we're a boy band from the 80s. Uh, let's do that. We'll, we'll tell we'll tell people that don't know who we are that we're, we're a boy band from the 80s and we're going to perform in Birmingham or wherever it is. 
<laughs> just thought we'd drop in. <laughs> oh, dear. Vaping Biker, uh, Todd the Pimp Daddy. Yes, he is. He is indeed. <laughs> um, Vaping Biker and Todd, Dean and Mark, make sure to stop by the rig booth. I, he says both, but I think it's booth. And have Demi slap a build in an RDA for you guys. Yes, absolutely. I will be stopping by to go and have a chat with James at rig anyway. So we'll be doing that one. Lovely bloke. He's a fucking job. I think he's probably taller than you, Mr. T. Yeah. And he's got a beard. Um, <laughs> oh, like that's, uh, a, that's a measure of anything. I mean, yeah. come on. I'm just that's jealous. <laughs> uh, right. I don't know if there's any other questions that anybody has before we sign off, but we've been going for an hour and hour and three quarters now which i think is more than enough for anyone it's now quarter yeah. to 11 uk time and we're old and tired so is there anybody else going on there uh, i'm looking at 3d printing says shane wiseman and was wondering if you had any advice or tips for a complete novice um well mr todd and i both have the same 3d printer so if it i think if depending on how much money you're throwing at it will kind of depend how much fucking about you're going to be putting into it um with the ones that we have they require a lot of tinkering a lot of setting up you have to build the thing to start with and there's a lot of messing about uh but once you can once you do all that you can get a really good print from it um but just look into the different types of filament and you know start off with pla just to get used to how the, the printer works and then if you want to make mods and all that sort of stuff you can think use things like nylon and petg and all that sort of good stuff have you got any uh, tips for 3d printing for uh, 3d printing is uh, right I, I mean there you go there's the Anakin t20 and then you've got a, a mech with a rebuildable deck in it this is 3d printing this is not 3d print 3d printing <laughs> you have to invest so much time into it you cannot believe it it is a time consuming hobby uh, it really really is yeah but it's also highly addictive once you start printing something off you cannot take your eyes off it without considerable focus and work because it's like magic you like watching magic happen it's marvelous um so yeah and go and check out uh, if you're on facebook shane go and check out uh, as many groups as you can for the printer that you're buying because that amount of information is invaluable and if you go onto thingiverse.com then um th there's usually lots of upgrades and stuff that you can buy or that you can uh, download the stl file for and then print out to improve your printer and make it even better or if you like maybe some of us in the room cock it up a little bit for the to start with <laughs> <laughs> i hope you're talking about yourself there young man <laughs> how are those braces going <laughs> yours, yours are upside down i'm telling you they're upside down <laughs> yeah but you know that's all <laughs> <laughs> are we going to see daniel says are we going to see some more live videos with the both of you possibly depends if he gets really annoyed with me or not i don't know uh, uh, what build would you recommend for an unregulated squonka i'm looking for a decent battery life um depends on your battery depends on your style of vaping depends on anything else but um and also you know what type of wire you're going to use as well because you can go for like a 0.5 build with stainless or a 0.5 build with canthal depending on your preferences yeah so it's, it's a difficult one to answer, to be honest with you. The best thing to do with any type of custom building is always just make as many coils as you can and uh, of different types of coils, different sizes, different wires and all that until you find something that really works for you and hits your expectations. But practice, practice, practice. Apart from Mr. Todd, who's been putting the same coil in things for the last four years. Five. <laughs> <laughs> um, right thanks for the show any plans to make your own rda coming at me um yes it's released next week um it's called the vaping biker i'm cashing in rda it's marvelous it's it's uh, it's uh, 49 millimeters wide um it has a 50 millimeter high top cap and it's a flavor chaser um it's uh, hey 3D printed. <laughs> 3D printed, absolutely. And uh, I've gone for the unusual idea of having wooden posts. I thought that would, uh, I thought stab wood posts would make it look a little bit nicer. So, but, uh, <laughs> but no, Jake, otherwise, maybe, maybe if, if I ever get to 100,000, so there's enough people that could be interested, then maybe, but who knows? It's, uh, it's not something that's on, uh, on, uh, 
on the horizon for the time being. Um, uh, are we going to have a love child, Todd? Someone's asking. I don't know. I, 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 we could 3D print. You could print half and I could print half and then we could have like a scary thing. That would be cool. Uh, <laughs> um, right. Well, I think that's probably gone. Gonna uh, gonna go through a lot of stuff. It's gone longer than I expected. But thank you very much to Mr. Todd for coming in and having a giggle with us as well. Thank you. Um, as always, for the invite. Thank you. As always, for the invite. always a pleasure. Always nice to see you. And I will see you um, Thursday. No, Friday. You're not turning Friday. up until Friday. Yeah. Um, no. So yeah. So I'll see you then. But uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I can't talk. Honestly, Todd, I can't. Use the words. Use your words. <laughs> words. Um, yeah, I can't. Uh, I, 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 I even lost my train of thought now. What? What was I saying? <laughs> love you all. Good, love you all. Good night. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it remotely entertaining, and hopefully that uh, that you've uh, you've enjoyed it. And uh, and I will uh, speak to you all very very soon. I'll try and get some live streaming bits and bobs coming up on Instagram, Facebook, um, uh, over the course of the weekend. But I doubt I'll do a live stream on YouTube just because I don't think it'll be brilliant content, but it just might be entertaining. So I might do a couple of little things. So if you're not on them, check out Vaping Biker on Facebook. Check, check out the underscore vaping underscore biker on Instagram and uh, and check out to see what's going on in there. I suppose you could check out Todd's reviews on YouTube if you're not aware of it already. He kind of knows what he's doing, seeing as he's been doing it since 1923. And is um, also, he's actually quite good, but don't tell him I told him. Um, so yeah, go and check out all of those ones. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate you all. And uh, should, we, should we have a little cloudy poos to uh, sign out with? <sighs> Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to uh, do your sign out rather than mine? That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody that's watching. We'll see you very soon. Make sure you go out there and have it very large. <laughs> <laughs>